Mezcal is tequila's smokier cousin and a spirit that's a little hard to get into. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three incredible Mezcal cocktails that you can make going from easiest to hardest. Mezcal truly is one of my absolute favorite spirits and that really shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody who's subscribed to my channel for any length of time. Right, let's jump into these three incredible Mezcal cocktails going from easiest to hardest. So the first cocktail I'm gonna be making for you today is called the Mezcalero, which is, it's kind of like a Mezcal Negroni with a slight little variation. So we're gonna grab our stirring glass here. It's a stirred cocktail. And we're going to do one ounce of an Espadine Mezcal. I am using Los Vecinos del Campo Espadine Mezcal because I quite like it a lot. We're gonna be doing uh, one ounce of a Blanc Vermouth. I am using uh, La Fuerza, which is an Argentinian vermouth. Very, very delicious. But you know, feel free to use whatever Blanc Vermouth you have. And the big variation of this between uh, between this and like a regular Mezcal Negroni is that instead of Campari, we're gonna be using Aperol, which is actually a lot more my speed. I tend to think Campari is a little too bitter sometimes. And now we're going to fill this up with ice all the way to the top. And we're gonna stir it up, get it nice and chilled, nice and diluted. All right, now that that's nice and chilled and diluted, we're gonna grab our low ball here, a large cube, our strainer, and we're gonna just strain this out. That is a lovely color. It's almost orangey and not so red, so it definitely doesn't really look like a Negroni. Um, oh, and last but not least, we're going to be doing a grapefruit peel. Nice and thick grapefruit peel here, and I like to be a little extra, so we're going to flame this grapefruit peel. And there you have a mezcalero. All right, let's give this one a little, a little taste. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. It's very smooth. I love the combination of the Aperol with the Blanc Vermouth. It's much less bitter than a regular Negroni. So for those folks who say, oh, I don't like Negronis, this is kind of more your, where you might want to take them, especially with the mezcal being a little bit stronger on the smoke side, but it does get subdued in this cocktail. Overall, perfectly balanced. I love the addition of the grapefruit peel. I think it's an excellent cocktail. And super easy to make. Three ingredients, grapefruit peel. What more could you ask for? Right, let's move along to the next cocktail I'm gonna make for you. The next cocktail I'm gonna be making for you is called The Naked and Famous, and this is by a fact my absolute favorite cocktail ever. It is a shaking cocktail. We're gonna grab our shaker, and we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of yellow chartreuse. And then last but not least, we're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of our mezcal. I'm using Del Maguey's Vita. That's what the original recipe was made with. That's the one I think tastes the best in this. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Del Maguey's Vita mezcal. And then we're going to add ice to this bad boy and shake it up. Get it nice and chilled. All right. Pop that open. Grab our chilled coop here, and we're going to double strain into our chilled coop. All right, and let's give this wonderful, magnificent cocktail a taste. I'm in heaven. Every time, I am in absolute heaven. I love this cocktail so, 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 so much. You get that funkiness from the yellow chartreuse, that slight bitterness from the Aperol. You get that crispness from the lime and the mezcal gives it this nice underlying smoky flavor. I would do dirty, dirty things for one of these almost any night. Luckily, I can just make them myself. Right, there you have my favorite cocktail, but we're not done yet. Let's move on to the next cocktail I'm gonna be making for you. All right, so the last cocktail I'm gonna be making for you today is called only to consider. And it is a super funky cocktail and I'm super pumped to get to make it for you. So it is a stirred cocktail. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna grab our mixing glass here. So the first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of Pierre Ferrand's dry curacao. We're gonna do a half ounce of Campari. 
we're gonna do a quarter ounce of fernet. Uh, the original recipe calls for leather beef fernet, but I have fernet branca, uh, and we're just gonna roll with that. We're gonna do one dash of Angostura bitters. And last but not least, an ounce and a half of our mezcal. Again, we are using Los Vecinos del Campo mezcal for this one. And then we are going to fill this puppy up with ice all the way to the top. And we are going to stir it down, get it nice and chilled. All right, and then now we're gonna grab our chilled Nick and Nora glass, and we're going to pour this out. All right. I'm actually really excited to see how this one tastes. I've, I haven't tried it yet myself. So the color is lovely. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab an orange and do a nice thick orange peel to express over the top. And for that, we're gonna grab our nice little butane torch, because I like to be extra. And then you can just, it, the recipe says to discard um, if you would like, which we will. <laughs> and there you have in only to consider. All right, and let's give it a little taste. Wow, that is a crazy combination of boozy, funky, slightly smoky, and the fernet really comes through and provides a lot of the, my favorite parts about the cocktail. Like it really comes through against all these other flavors and it helps to balance out the Campari's bitterness. That is surprisingly very, very, very good. And the smoke is just a slight hint at the very bottom. Um, wow. God damn, I think I'm gonna just discover a new, a new one of my favorites. That's really, really good. I'm gonna just drink that again. Excellent, excellent cocktail. And uh, I'm really pumped I discovered this one and I got to share it with you. And there you have it, my friends, three incredible Mezcal cocktails that you can make going from easiest to the hardest. Uh, with this video, I really wanted to showcase some more out there Mezcal cocktails, uh, and I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. But all right, that's enough for me. I've got three amazing cocktails to choose from, and I will catch you in the next one. No. Mm. I, I don't know which one to choose. I don't know.